Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to read to you another article from Laravel Daily.com related to activity logs in Filament. Because there are quite a few packages and we've picked three of them to review, kind of compare them, which is better. There is no winner or loser here, there are just different options. So let me show you how they work. This is a typical activity log page for one of those packages. And those packages or filament plugins are this, with to be honest, all hardly pronounced names. Not sure if that's a coincidence or any conclusions from that. Anyway, the first one, filament logger. You just do composer require, you do install, and this uses a package, Spotty activity log, under the hood, so we need to provide the options on the model level from Spotty. Then we need to register the package, the plugin in the panel provider of filament, and that's it. We open our panel and see a new activity log resource in the sidebar in the menu, which will show something like this. What was the resource? Was it created or updated? Like user with ID2 was created here by someone. The table also has filters as filament resource. And then if we click on any of those, we land on the screen that you already saw above. And our quick conclusion about the package, it is good, easy to install, nice UI and easy to customize. The bad or the worst part is that it doesn't have many out of the box configuration options compared to other packages. So simple, easy and just works. Package number two, filament activity log, which is also based on spotty activity log, but provides a bit different functionality from the filament level. Again, we configure the model and then we need to create a new page for our activity log for a specific resource, for example. Then we need to modify that page and it should extend list of activities for that specific resource, not just the page of filament. And then we need to put the button in our table of that resource to view those activities and register the page. So this is how it looks from the table view and then this is what it shows inside. Now the good and the bad parts, installation complexity is a bit bigger than the package above, but it's still average. And also the best part, restore button that will restore the model to the state of the log. The bad part, some UI issues, also not many configuration options, and this was a surprising one requires users to have avatar. In our testing it caused error without avatars. So this package is a good candidate if you want to have per resource logs. And then the third one, Composer Require, adding a new page of activity log, which also needs to extend list activities. Then we need to create a logger, which looks quite complex. So we need to manually define what fields need to be logged. And then this is how it looks. The log with some filter with some table. The good part that is highly customizable in terms of fields probably the most customizable out of those three. The bad part, since it's customizable, there are a lot of things to customize from the beginning. So quite a lot of manual work to set up and install everything. So yeah, those three packages, which one do you prefer? Or maybe you use something else? Shoot in the comments below. I will also link the article itself in the description below. It is free, not for premium members, so everyone can read it in full and get all the links to the packages. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.